Should you wear pink? Should men wear pink? Well, that's a question we'll tackle in this video. Welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. And if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you'd purchase your next watch from us at jazztime.com. Today, we'll be going over a, Ro a Rolex Oyster Perpetual 31, well, Rolex Datejust, rather, 31, in oyster steel and white gold with a Jubilee-style bracelet, pink dial with index markers, reference number 278274. All right, so as indicated in its name, Datejust 31 is a 31 millimeter case size. It's made of the uh, uh, Rolex's oyster steel with you know, effectively combining steel and other compounds of metal to create exceptional high polish with strength in equal measure. It has the screw down case back as well as signature winding crown to effectively keep this waterproof down to 100 meters or 330 feet below sea level. All right, the white gold on this is in the bezel, the fluted style bezel. Whenever you see this fluted bezel, that means that it is a type of gold. In this case, it's white gold to match the steel casing of this watch. And the original function for this fluting actually was to effectively waterproof the case as it was uh, screwed on effectively onto the front. But, you know, modern advancements have made that, you know, rather uh, unnecessary. So now it's just used as an, as an aesthetic element. So uh, Rolexes can be easily identified by that fluted bezel, especially these date just day dates, and so forth. All right. And looking closer now, we also have this uh, scratch resistant sapphire crystal on the front held very nicely by that bezel with a cyclops window directly over the date. So you can see the date very easy at a glance, nice and magnified there. All right. Now onto the main portion of this video, it's that pink dial sunray finish dial with 18 karat white gold index hour marks with the Rolex crown at the 12 date aperture at the three again uh, white gold hands as well all with luminescence all right so let me just aim this at my light here turn the lights off and you can actually see that luminescence shining very brightly it's actually very bright for a day just of this size very easy to see. You can see that all the hands, well, the minute and the hour hands are lit up. The seconds hand isn't, no real need to do so. The hours minus the 12 and the three are also lit very brightly as well. Very tasteful blue, all right? A bit complementary in color to that pink dial, okay? Now, this sunray finished dial, pink colored dial, well, would you wear it? Well, I don't know. I personally wouldn't find any issue with this. Literally look back about 100 to 120 years back in US history and you would actually find that people would actually dress up their sons in frilly dresses. So did color really matter all that much? Not really even back then. So, you know, honestly, anyone who is absolutely comfortable with themselves, with the type of person that they are, you know, wear whatever suits you. Pink, I believe, fits the overall look of this watch very nicely. And it would fit with just about any sort of uh, outfit, dark tuxedo or dark dress. This would effectively create a very high contrast with that pink. Definitely brings a lot of attention to you. And if that's the sort of thing that you want, then, you know, don't hesitate. Pick up this pink dial. It's very, very bright, very beautiful in the light. All right, now, while we're looking at this, we can also look at the functions. Functions exactly as you would think. All right, let me zoom in here for a bit and simply unwind the crown to the first position. You can wind the watch. If it's at a dead stop, you can really just turn this only about 25 to 30 times to get it to a full charge. Once you start feeling that dampening starting to ramp up in the crown, then you know you've reached the full charge. Pull out to the next position and you can rotate that crown 
counterclockwise about a quarter turn to advance the date by one. And it's actually very easy to advance the date, all right, by more than one, all right? So if you find yourself on the 30th of a month, you can just go to the, the first of the next month very easily as shown here. Pull out to the final position. You can stop that seconds hand, very useful. So you can then adjust the time accordingly and precisely. Press the crown back in and screw it tightly against the case to ensure that 100 meter water resistance. All right, so what allows all of that to work? It's the 2236 in-house movement made by Rolex. It has the plus or minus two second per day time differential after casing, so it's extremely precise, exceeds Swiss standards of timekeeping. It has the center hour, minute, and seconds hands, as shown here, the hour, minute, and seconds hands placed right in the center of the dial. It allows for the instantaneous date with rapid setting, so you don't need to effectively make that minute hand fly all the way around so you can advance the hour hand to get to the next day. You can just set the date instantly as I showed you earlier. It also has that sus the stop seconds for precise time setting, meaning that you can, you know, hack the seconds, stop the seconds hand, so you can get the minute hand placed just where you need it. Line up with an atomic clock, and there you go, easy. It has the oscillator in a Siloxi hairspring in silicon with patented geometry. It also has high performance Paraflex shock absorbers. So, you know, this will stay effectively demagnetized. There's no way to, uh, to change the, day, the, the pace of this watch, if you will. You can't affect the timekeeping by getting close to a magnet. The, the hairspring stays, you know, effectively in place. There's no way to change it and you know jostling it around with you know normal wear will keep this just fine the paraflex shock absorbers will keep the the movement working just fine there's no you know sudden jolts no sudden stops of that second hand it will just keep going no problem there okay it also has the bi-directional self-winding rotor inside to allow you to effectively wind the watch just by wearing it all you need to do just fully wind it using the crown and putting it on your wrist will allow you to you know, continue winding the watch throughout the day. Altogether, it gives you a total of 55 hours of power reserve. So a little over two days. So all you need to do is you can just set this down on a Friday evening. You can pick it back up on a Monday morning, ready to conduct business. And there you go, no need to wind the watch. All right, framing this all together, we have the Jubilee style bracelet, all oyster steel with the three piece links in the middle, two on the outer ends, making five all the way across. High polish down the center, the two outer links being a satin brush finishing on the front with a high polish along the sides, all brushed underneath, all right? To give it a very comfortable wear. Going down to the clasps now, we do get questions on how to open this. And, you know, simply, it has the concealed folding crown clasp, makes it a very, um, integrated look. You can't really see this crown unless you're looking for it. And to open it, simply just get your finger under the top of the crown, pull it out, and it opens so easily. All right, so there's your clasp there, single uh, folding oyster clasp. And while I'm here, I can actually try on the watch and give you some of my thoughts as to how it wears. All right. All right, as this is a Datejust 31, it's kind of small on the wrist. For, for my wrist at least, a 7.5 to 7.25 inch circumference wrist, all right? So I'm getting a lot of bracelet with the dial being framed actually very, very tiny, but you know, as an accessory, this works excellent, all right? It, it actually doesn't depend on, it doesn't really matter what I would wear with this. It just looks excellent. I love that the pink is not like, too saturated, it's it's more of like a shade of pink, if that really is a thing. Um, really, a really, really dark value of a light red, maybe, but it's effectively pink. And, you know, there are pink golds out there, but those will, you know, fade over time. Rolex's Everose Gold won't, you know, and certainly this pink has a very, very warm, it's, it's a different type of warmth from rose gold. So you won't really get that sort of feel, that sort of aesthetic as much on a rose gold case as you would with this sort of dial, right? And with this 
you know, steel casing with the white gold bezel, this pink dial actually stands out very nicely, even just by itself, right? And when it comes to the wearing experience, I barely feel it on my wrist. It has a very good counterweight of the bracelet against the case. The case has a very low form factor, so it fits right underneath any suit cuff. And, you know, it doesn't really feel like, you know, that there's a watch on my wrist. It's very light, center of gravity right in the middle of my wrist. It's a very comfortable wear with these Jubilee style bracelet links. And with the brushing underneath, it just, it just feels so smooth and so soft, all right? So, enough of what I think. What do you think about this watch? If you're a man, the manliest of men, a, you know, 60 gallon mountain man, would you wear a watch like this? A watch that has this color. You know, if you really want to prove yourself and, you know, say that you are absolutely secure in who you are, you know, even Franklin Delano Roosevelt, a president in the 60s, wore a dress as a child. Would you wear this watch? I don't see anything wrong with it. It's an excellent color, that sun ray look, absolutely gorgeous in any sort of light. All right, and if you're a woman, well, would you wear this watch or would you go something even more practical? Would you perhaps get a Daytona or something? Let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like if you haven't already and be sure to subscribe as it really helps our, our channel and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch, any other watch, current production as this one, or discontinued, used or new, visit our site, jazztime.com, links in the description below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.